Hi all. Let's talk about what is data conversion transformation in SSIS. So data conversion transformation is a transformation which helps us to convert the data in an input column to a different data type and then it creates a new column and places the new value into that column. For example, so if you take a source our package can extract the data from multiple sources and then use this transformation to convert the columns data type required by the destination data store. So what I mean here is it, it reads the data from multiple data sources and it converts the data into a different data type. So based on the destination data store. So here I will show you how to configure a data conversion transformation or how to use a data conversion transformation in SSIS practically. So let me go to SQL Server Data Tools. So here there is a package. So I am going to use a data conversion transformation in the SSIS package. So before going to use a data conversion transformation, let me show you the source data. So I am using a sales currency rate table, so which is having around like some 300 records. So which are of having currency, currency rate, a currency rate ID, currency rate date, currency type, a currency average rate, end of the day, modified date. So if you see here, the currency rate date is with a time and date format. Even here also modified also, so date and time format. Okay. So my requirement is how I am planning to use my data conversion transformation here is. So here my currency rate and modified uh, date is in the date and time format. So now I am planning to take into only date format. So my destination required only date format. So not the date and time format. So this is also a kind of data type conversion. So let me use it. Okay. So now let me take a data conversion transformation. Let me drag and drop the data conversion. So let me configure. Okay. Let me double click on it. So what is the first column we are planning to take currency rate date. So whenever I select this by default, it shows you the data type of the column source column source data type. So now I don't want the source data type. I want to convert to a different data type. So as discussed, I am planning to take only date apart from the date time. So let me take it as a so date database date. So this is the database date. Okay. So now so it creates as discussed, it creates a new column. So with a name of whatever the name you want it means it, it copies the uh, converted value to a new column. So I am for time being I am going to put it the same name copy of currency rate date. And the second column as discussed modified date the similar way it is going to create a new column with the name of copy of modified date and by default it comes with a source data type. So let me take you to the required destination data type database date. Now if you see how many columns are there in the source 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 are the source columns and the remain 2 newly added columns totally 8 columns you are going to get as the output of data conversion. So now the data conversion gives eight columns, but the end I need only six columns because I don't want the old source columns. So let me take you to the destination configuration where I can remove the columns which are not required for me. So let me take you to the data to the plot file destination. So let's configure this. It's a straightforward configuration. Click on new. So I am I'm planning to go with the same delimiter means a comma delimiter. Okay, so take data conversion output is a file which is created by me and see by default what are all the columns are there in the source those columns will come here if you see. If you see. Yeah, these are all the modified date and if you see the newly added columns also comes means totally eight columns are coming but I don't want all the eight columns so I, I can remove the which are the columns which are not required for me. Let's go to the advanced tab of the uh, plot file destination. Remove the columns which are not required for you. Let me remove delete of the currency rate date and modified date. So now I am planning to use the meaningful names for the converted columns. So here I can change the name of the converted columns. So currency rate date. 
okay our currency date or whatever it is currency date and i can make it as a modified date or date update date modified or whatever it is so i'm just changing the names to differentiate with the source okay so these are all the two columns i created and now i'll be getting only six columns apart from the eight columns once you're done with it click on okay and go to mappings see we all know that if the source names and the target names are same it automatically maps if there is a change in the source column names and destination column names you need to manually map so now i am mapping select the source column so drag that column to the destination to the column where you to what column you want to map and leave that so then it automatically maps similar way modified date okay yeah now now it's mapped all the six columns so i don't want these two columns currency rate date and modified date click on okay now so in this example what i discussed i discussed about the data conversion and i discussed about the columns to a destination what are really required so how to remove the unwanted columns in the destination let's save this and let's run this so it now it loads the data from a sales currency rate table and it loads into and it uh, writes into the plot file destination which are have a, which are of having 13532 rows let me stop this let me go to the file and let me open it so because of the size of the file it may take a while yeah now if you see so currency rate id currency type and all if you see the dates it is showing only date it is not showing time here because of the data conversion so this is how we configure the data conversion finally data conversion transformation is the one which helps us to convert data type one data type to another data type it is one of the very important transformation in the ssis so that's it thank you for watching if you like our videos please like and subscribe thank you